Hey everybody, welcome back to the Messer Life by Design YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button below, give it a thumbs up, and comment below after the video. And tell us what did you learn, how you're going to implement this into your life. Today's video is three simple questions to deepen your purpose or your why. I've been working with a lot of clients lately and I find that they're not really, some of them aren't really moving and taking action on the things that they really want to take action on. And this is a common problem I believe we all have. There, I don't know too many people that every day they are 100% always on fire. Some people maybe, I don't know, Gary Vanderchalk, Tony Robbins, but my belief is that they too have off days. What's really gonna allow you guys to really take action, to take the things that you know you need to do and implement them? Now there's a multitude of facets of what I'll talk about today and there's a lot of tools and techniques out there. I'm gonna give you a little bit around the purpose and the why and how important that really is. Now, if you're looking to have a purpose-driven life, you really are coming from a place where you know each day why you're doing what you're doing, you're probably taking more action than most people. I find that a lot of people that I work with initially, they don't have a reason why they're doing what they're doing. And if they do, it's in the back of their head and it's not something that they focus on every single day. It's not something that allows them to light themselves on fire. And so there's two ways that we can create a purpose, right? And we can, we'll talk a little bit around pain and pleasure towards the end of this video. But as we dive in, here's what I want you to do. Grab your notebook and I'd like you to think about something in your life that you're really working towards, something that you're working hard towards, right? So for me, I know I'm building out our YouTube channel. And I have a reason for that. I have a purpose. I have a drive be behind that. And so think about something that you have in your life that you really want to work on. Something that you're really looking to create or conquer or, or shift in your life. And as you write that down, we want to, that's, if we want to think about it like that's the target, that's the bullseye that you're after. I do this with my clients a lot and that is you have to know what that bullseye is, what that target is that you're going after. If you don't know what that is, then it's hard to hit it. And so we got to have a clear vision of what you want. It's got to, you got to be clear. You got to have that clarity. And that's one of the things that we do with our Master Life by Design coaching program and platform is that we help you get absolute clarity on what it is that you're working towards. You have to know that because that's your destination. <clears throat> Now, once you're clear on your destination, what you just wrote down, we want to figure out what is the fuel behind you getting to your destination. There's got to be some sort of fuel that fills you up. And that's your purpose. That's your why. You may hear people talk about, well, you got to know what your why is. And I'll talk about how important the why is in this video and why it's not everything. Okay, so we definitely have to know what our why is or what our purpose is. So I'd like you to write down what is your reason for accomplishing this goal? What do you want to get out of it? Why are, you, why are you doing what you're doing? You have to write that down first and foremost. And we're going to build off of this. So as you write this down right now and you get, you're starting to get some clarity on why you want to do what you want to do, what we want to then do is two things. Number one, we want to make sure it's compelling. It's got to be compelling. It's got to be something that you're excited about. It's got to be something that pulls you. It's got to pull you each day when you read this instead of you always trying to push yourself to achieve that outcome, that result, that target that you're after. So I always talk to my clients, one, it's got to be compelling and two, it's got to be juicy. It's got to be just something that makes you hungry each day. And so well, I get a lot of clients, they go through and they say, well, I want to get free so I can travel the world. <clears throat> Cool. On a scale of zero to 10, ask yourself uh, how compelling, how juicy, how much does that pull you to hear, I want to travel the world? 10 being you're super excited, you'll do anything to get there. One being you're not excited at all. And I usually find that they're below a five. Now, how can we spice this up? How can we make this even more juicy, more compelling? One of the things that I like to do is add adjectives. I'd go on Google and type in a list of adjectives. You start getting some words like magical and what else? Um, 
galvantic, and you know, it's just things like that, different adjectives that you can add into it. So go to Google and type in a list of adjectives in the search box and you'll come up with plenty that you can add into it. So I always ask my clients, oh, you wanna travel the world? How exciting is that? They'd say a three or a four. And then I go, how about trying this one? I wanna spoil my queen, my friends, my family while traveling all over the world in the most luxurious transportation that man has ever created as I get to see all of God's beauty and only which 1% of eyes ever get to see. Zero to 10, how compelling is that compared to the first one? Now, if you're like, wow, Joe, how did you do that? That's amazing, I don't think I could ever do that. Just know I've been doing this for many, many years, okay? So I've had a lot of practice. And if you're just starting on your journey of deepening your why, your purpose, it's not gonna come that easily to you. It's gonna take some work. It's gonna take some repetition. Over the course of time and being consistent and working on this, you'll find that you'll get even better than you are currently today. So we gotta make sure it's juicy and compelling. And we gotta also make sure on a scale of zero to 10 that you're, you're around that nine, 10 range. If you're around that nine, ten, nine or 10 range, it's gonna pull you. That purpose, that, fu that fuel is gonna pull you towards your goal. Instead of you always having to wake up and push yourself, like, man, I gotta, I gotta go do my YouTube videos today. It's like, no, we wanna be excited. We wanna go to bed late. We wanna get up early in the morning because our purpose is driving us. <clears throat> So if you're looking to have a purpose-driven life, you gotta make sure it's compelling, you gotta make sure it's juicy. So that's my, that's the beginning of this video. What I wanna talk about is those three simple questions. So once you know why you wanna do what you wanna do, we also wanna include, number one, how will you feel when you hit that outcome, when you hit that goal, when you get to that destination? How will you feel? Will you feel ecstatic? Will you feel excited? Will you feel grateful? Will you feel even more hungry than you currently are? How will you feel? Picture that. What would, that, what would be the emotions that are coming through you when you completed that goal? Or that challenge or that obstacle that you're overcoming or creating that business, whatever it might be. Number two is what will it mean to you? What will it mean if you build this business, you build an online business where you're pulling in 20, 30, 50 grand a month, what would that mean to you? Would it mean that you are in charge of your own destiny from this point forward? Would it mean that you have the freedom and the lifestyle to do what you want when you want to master your life by design? What will it really mean to you? Could it mean that you will be able to retire your parents? Would it mean that you have more self-confidence, more self-worth when you accomplish this goal? You gotta find out what will it mean. <clears throat> And number three, the most important one out of all of them, and that is who will you become? Who will you become in this process of reaching this goal, this outcome? See, it's not about getting to that end destination. Many of you may have heard, it's not about the end result, it's about the journey. And I truly believe that. I remember when I used to be a victim, I used to say, think to myself, if I could just be that guy who's strong, who's courageous, who's confident, who's certain, who feels like he's worthy. You know, and I remember thinking about, you know, wanting to be at this point where I wanted to make hundreds of millions of dollars, which I still do, but I wouldn't be happy until I was there. And I realized that's not true. It's about who I've become over the years that I'm most proud of. And so who will you become if you accomplish this goal, this target, this outcome that you're working towards? This takes, your, this takes you a lo another layer deeper on your why, on your purpose. So who will you become? Not what will you do. <clears throat> Big difference on what you will do and who you become. I walk a lot of my clients through who will you become in the next five to 10 years. I'll create a video on that. And I always make sure that we identify who are you going to become because it's so important that you know. Because if you show up as a victim in this process of building your business versus being a victor, all of a sudden, you show up different. You have a different, different fuel coming from you, or lack thereof. And then all of a sudden you get different results. So who will you become? We wanna make sure you become that confident person or maybe it's you're gonna become this guy who's self-worthy, maybe this woman who is more than enough. Maybe you fall in love with yourself all over again or maybe you're doing it for the first time because of 
what you're doing, what your outcome, your goal is. So we wanna make sure that we understand who, who will we become. So three questions just to recap. What will you feel? What will it mean to you? And who will you become? If you write out your purpose and then answer those three questions, you just start to go a layer deeper. This is how you have a purpose-driven life. And so from this point, once you have that answered and it's juicy and it's compelling, it's a level nine or a 10, we wanna make sure that we read it every single day. We wanna make sure we read it every single day. Now, I get a lot of people that say, well, Joe, should I use pain as my source of fuel or should I use pleasure? <clears throat> Great question. And here's the answer. The answer is, if you feel like you're completely stuck, like you can't move, <clears throat> some, you're just, you don't know what it is. You feel like you're in a rut. You may want to start using pain as a motivator to help get you unstuck initially. Now, if you use pain as that long-term motivator, you're gonna find that it's gonna die out and you might just find yourself right back to where you started, even if you are reading your purpose every single day. So pain is like kind of like you, you, you're stuck, you're, you're, you're a little cold, right? And you wanna get away from that fire, that campfire. And the further away you get from that fire, the less warmth that you have. And if you don't feel, if you don't feel warm, then all of a sudden you're not gonna take action. You're gonna be too cold to move forward, right? So we wanna stay close to the fire. And so the pain, we don't wanna use that all the time as the motivator. It helps initially, but it's not a long-term motivator. Pleasure is a long-term motivator. So you wanna use pleasure, once you get out of the pain, you start moving, then rewrite your purpose where it's more of pleasure for you, it's more pleasurable for you. Because the pleasure studies have shown that over the long term, you are more likely and more motivated to take action. So we wanna use pain initially. If you're not moving, if you already got the ball moving, you're good. Make sure you uh, frame your purpose in a way where it's all about pleasure, okay? So that's the three, three easy or simple questions that you can ask yourself to deepen your purpose or your why. And so here's what I like to do. Every morning I like to write, um, read my purpose, my why. Once I have it for each of my goals, I usually write it out in like a story format in first person so that I picture myself as completing it. And once I've read it, I start to feel these emotions. I like to close my eyes and go through a visualization process. <clears throat> I'll give you some extra bonus material here too that I was just doing this morning, in fact. So once I've written it all out, I've read it, I visualize it as completed. And the key, especially around the law of attraction, the key is to feel it inside, to feel those emotions as it being completed, how you'll walk, how you'll talk, how the things that you'll do, who you'll become. You wanna feel all of that inside of you. And the more you can flood your body and your nervous system of those emotions, the more natural it becomes. And you start to take on that belief and you start to feel inspired to take action. And so that's the first thing that I do each morning. And then from there is I play with the different sub modalities of the picture. Let me explain. Whenever we have a picture of something, we have a picture of something in our minds in everything we do. For example, if I said to think of a banana, you would have a picture come to mind. You might not consciously think about it, but in your unconscious, a picture comes to mind. And so you might think of a monkey, whereas I might think of yellow, right? We all come up with a different picture. So when you think about the purpose for each of your goals that you read, you come up with a picture in your unconscious mind. And so what I have, I'd like to do, and I encourage clients to do, and I encourage you to do, is that I'd like you to just close your eyes and take a moment and bring up that picture in your mind. And as you close your eyes and you bring that picture to your mind, we want to just change some of the submodalities. So bring that picture really close to you in your mind's eye. Bring that picture really close to you. With your eyes closed still, not only do you bring the picture close to you, but make it colorful, make it bright. Turn up that brightness really bright. And as that picture is bright and colorful, make it really focused. And depending on your preference, you either might want that picture still or in a movie. You might even want to put a frame around it or keep it panoramic. And just notice how this feels as you turn up the brightness, you make it really colorful, really focused, and bring it really close to you. 
All right, you can open your eyes. And so you may find that you are more compelled to take action on this. You might find yourself more motivated, feeling great about it. And so this is just some of the sub-modalities that we can tweak and it's some of the tricks that I like to play with with clients to help them get back into state, deepen their purpose, make it more powerful for them. So that's how you, you're able to take your purpose to that next level. There's also a great video out there where people talk about the five whys, writing down, you know, why do you want this? I wanna be able to travel the world. Okay, why do you wanna travel the world? I wanna have these magical experiences. Okay, why do you wanna have those magical experiences? Because then it would mean that I got to enjoy all of what life has to offer. And why is that important for you to do that? Because then it would make me happy. And all of a sudden, we get just a lot, another layer deeper, and another layer deeper, and another layer deeper. So if you find yourself in a position where you're not taking action, number one, it's probably because you don't even know your why. Number two, it's probably because you don't even connect with it. And if you do read it, number three, you don't, you don't connect emotionally with it. That's the secret. So I have myself and my clients, what we do every day is we read our goals, and we read our purpose and then we emotionally connect with them. We go through a visualization or a, mod or a meditation around it. So my invitation to you is to get on this process. Start it today. Don't stop because here's what I know is that you have a mission in this life. You have a purpose for being here. Now you might not know your purpose or maybe you do. And here's what I believe. If you're not out there helping improve someone else's life, then you're wasting yours. And you're worth everything. You're worth, you're so good at what you do. You don't know it. And you might sit there and say, Joe, you don't know me. How do you know that? Because I know that you've started. And if you started, that means you can improve. You can get better and better and better. And you're more than enough. So with that, take this time, pause this video, write down your purpose. First, have your goals, your outcomes, your targets, the results that you're after, write those down. That's the target, that's the destination, the fuel, the purpose, the why is the fuel for you to get there. We gotta have a full tank. So each day you gotta fill your tank up because when you wake up, you're empty. So you gotta purposefully fill your tank up each day. So if this video helped, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button or the thumbs up button, leave a comment below. What did you do? What's your purpose? What's one of the best purposes you've come up with? And then share this video if you feel like it's gonna help somebody in your life or those around you that you love and care about. So with that, we hope you have a great rest of your day. Go out there, make today count. Joe Moffitt, Master Life by Design. See you guys.